Welcome. Thanks for joining me today. This is an intermediate version of the balancing flow. So we're going to go a little bit more on one side, maybe three poses on one side, challenge our balance a little bit more, and flow with the practice to build up that strength and stamina in our ankles, maybe our wrists, and definitely in the core. So when you're ready, make sure you have a couple blocks handy, maybe a wall space if you need that for going up into handstand. And we'll start in this comfortable seated position to work on our breath and ground us. So once you're there, find a comfortable seat where you can close your eyes, shoulder blades onto the back, and just let yourself come into the room, onto your mat, and into your body. Connecting with your surroundings, and just allowing yourself to become more present with every passing moment. Scanning of the body today, check in. Acknowledging any areas of tightness or concern, injury or fatigue. And just be mindful of those areas as we start to move today in our practice. And setting an intention around balance today. Maybe it's to find balance in your life, maybe social life, maybe physical life, mental, work. Just finding that balance, an intention around balance. Balancing stress and tension versus ease and release. Bringing that intention to your mind's eye. We'll set that intention of balance or surrounding balance as we open the practice with one ohm. Let's go ahead and bring your hands to your heart center. Take a nice full inhale. here. Inhaling and exhaling deeply, grounding yourself here in this space, allowing yourself to be more present, focusing on that intention, and as you're ready, start to engage that ujjayi pranayama. And as you continue to breathe here, just remembering throughout this time of balancing postures that we're working on, use your breath to move into the pose and out of the pose. It's going to help you keep your balance longer, keep your focus, and allowing yourself to just be there in that present moment with that posture. Wherever you are in your breathing cycle, exhale fully. And allow those eyes to blink open. As you inhale, go ahead and roll yourself forward onto your hands and knees. We're going to start off in a little cat-cow balance. So if you need to pad your knees, go ahead and do so. We're going to start on all fours. And then from there, we're going to start just rounding our back and coming out. So pressing down to those hands. Inhale, looking forward. Exhale, round. Inhale, shoulders roll back. Gaze looks forward. And exhale, press and round, drop the tailbone. Couple more rounds here, inhaling. And exhaling. One more time, inhale. And then exhale. Adding on here, adding in a little bit of balance. Bring that left knee to the center line, take the right leg long. Square the hips, drop up through the lower belly, press into those hands, and then start to hover that right leg. Now be mindful that you're not dropping the belly to create less balance. Drop up through the lower belly, core is nice and strong, and then maybe that left arm reaches forward. Good, nice full breaths, inhaling and exhaling here. Send the weight slightly back to the hips. Imagine someone's pulling your back ankle behind you. Leroy's demonstrated that well. Good, one more big inhale here. And then on your next exhale, draw knee to nose, elbow to belly button. Inhale, lengthen, and exhale, round. 
Inhale, lengthen nice and slow. Exhale, round. Good, one more time. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, round. Good, inhale, lengthens you out. Exhale, hand down, knee down. Bring that right knee to the center line and take that left leg long. Ground through this, or square the hips, so ground through that back leg. Lengthen forward and then take that back heel toward the ceiling. Be mindful that you're not coming into that cow pose. Draw up through the lower belly, nice neutral spine. And then when you're ready, take that right hand forward. Breathing here, lengthening out. Imagine someone's pulling that back leg, your left leg toward the back wall, and that right arm's reaching toward the front. Good, one more big inhale here. And then as you exhale, round, pull it in. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, round, using the whole breath. One more time, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, round. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, hand down, knee down. Good, ground through those hands, bring them slightly forward, and then bring yourself into a plank pose. Straighten out through those legs, grounding down, lift those inner thighs, and then on your next exhale, lift the hips downward facing dog. And just check that your hands are spread wide. Press back through the heels, lifting through the hips. Let the neck grow long. Taking a few deep breaths here. Just noticing what's happening in the hands. Exhale down. This time as you inhale, come up onto the left fingertips. Exhale down. Inhale, right fingertips. Exhale down. Adding on a little bit more. Inhale, shifts the weight forward to plank. Exhale, pause. Good. As you inhale, lift the right leg just slightly. Exhale down. Inhale, left leg. If this is too challenging, exhale down. Stay in downward dog. Inhale, make those feet a little bit wider. Exhale, pause. On your next inhale, come up onto the left fingertips or left arm reaches. Exhale down. Inhale, right fingertips or right arm reaches. Exhale down. Take an inhale there and exhale downward dog. So if you found that challenging, you can always either bend into the knees, come to a lower plank, or you can stay from downward dog and do that same thing. One more time here. Inhale, brings you forward. Exhale there. Inhale, left leg reaches up to the ceiling. Exhale down. Inhale, right leg. Exhale down. Inhale, right arm reaches. Exhale down. Inhale, left arm reaches. Exhale down. Inhale there. And exhale down, we're done. Take a big breath. And exhale. Adding on, we're going to add the opposite hands and arms. Inhale, coming forward. Exhale, pause. Make those feet a little bit wider. Lengthen the tailbone. And then as you inhale, left leg reaches. Exhale, right arm reaches. Breathe. Good. Lengthen out. Nice long arm. Nice strong leg. And exhale down. Good. Find your balance here. Find your stability. And then right leg lifts. Make sure it's active. And then left arm reaches. Breathe. Draw in through the lower belly. And then exhale. Hand down. Take an inhale. And exhale down. We're done. Nice full inhale, feeling that, feeling that heat to build. And exhale. Inhale, looking forward. And as you exhale, bring your knees down. 
cross the ankles, roll all the way over onto your back. We're going to come all the way down to our back, a little bit of core action that we've been working on to help our balance. So from here, bring your arms, reach them up to the ceiling. So a little crane to handstand to crane action, working that balance. Draw those knees into your chest. Good, then try to bring the knees to the backs of the arms, and then exhale, reach those hands to the ceiling. So your shoulder blades are lifting up, spread through the toes, take an inhale. And then as you exhale, extend the arms, extend the legs, hover hands and feet. Exhale here. Inhale, starts to bring it in. Elbows and knees touch. Exhale. Good, inhale here, lift higher. Exhale, extend it out, hovering hands and heels. Take an inhale. Exhale, draws it in all the way, lifting. Maybe those knees can come outside the arms. Good, big inhale. Exhale, extend it out two more times. Good, from here, take an inhale, drawing it in, 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 in. Knees come up as high as you can, lift the chest, look up. Exhaling out, 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 out. One last time here, big inhale, draws it in, in, in. Hold as you exhale. Lift higher, spread through the toes. And then inhale, lengthen. Exhale, hold. And inhale, release it down. Good, take a breath here. And exhale. We're going to do a little bit of rocking back and forth on our spine. If this isn't going to be good for you, you can just come up to sit in Baddha Konasana. So from here, taking your hands onto your feet, bring your knees wide, and then you're going to bring your feet back behind you. Take an inhale, exhale, roll forward, good, and then inhale, roll back, exhale, roll forward, take Baddha Konasana, lift the chest, inhale, roll back, exhale, forward. Good, a couple more times. Inhale, roll back. As you exhale, hover the bum. Inhale, roll back. Exhale, hover the bum. Good, one more time. Inhale, roll back. Exhale, hover the bum. This time we're going to go all the way to standing. Inhale, roll back. Exhale, hover and stand. Ah, good job. We're going to make it to the top. Ground down into those feet. Take a nice deep inhale. And exhale. Inhale, takes the arms up. And exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, refold. Good. Inhale, takes the arms all the way up. And exhale, hand start. Good. Reconnecting with that breath. And then you're going to take those blocks. Make, move yourself onto your mat and take the blocks place them side by side we're going to practice a little bit of hip dips so i like to stack them i'm going to face you for one round and then move the other round to the side so you can see the side view so i like to pray, place my box since i do have two then i have my heel on one and my ball of my foot on the other if you just have one try to buy another one but if you just have one make sure at least your heel is on the block and the ball of your foot okay and then from here, press down into the block. And then come so you're kind of leaning to one side. Your toes are off on the other side. If you don't have blocks, you can always use books. You can use pillows. They're a little bit more challenging. Or you can just stay on the ground. All right, from here. And then you're going to flex that foot that's on the ground. Good. Hands at your hips. And then to make it a little bit more challenging, let's bring those arms up. Good. And as you inhale, send that hip lifts, the left hip out to the side, and exhale, lift. Inhale, hip out. Exhale, press into the standing leg, lift. Good, inhale, hip out. Exhale, lift. Good, pause there. As you inhale, start to lift that leg to the ceiling. Good, exhale. From here, inhale, grabbing onto the knee, or maybe grabbing onto that big toe, extend the leg out. Draw the shoulders back, press into that standing leg, breathing. You can always use a strap here. Good. Find a gaze point that's not going to make you falter or move. Or whining cats that distract you. Good. One more breath here. Exhale. 
Good. Inhale brings the knee back to center. Exhale, bring knee to knee. Good. Draw the heel toward your bum. See if you can reach back for that right foot with your right hand. Take an inhale, reach up through the left side, and then exhale, start to hinge forward, pushing that foot back. Naranjasana, dancer's pose. Keep squaring the hips, keep grounding into that bottom leg. Good, one more big inhale. Exhale. Good, as you inhale, bring yourself back up. Exhale, release the hand, bring that knee back to center one more time. One more pose here. Take the knee out to the side. Good, open the hip. Place that foot either in the inner thigh or into your calf. And breathe. Good. Hands are going to take them up nice and tall. And then bring the arms out wide. Add in a little bit here. Rotate toward your open leg, toward the right. Twisting. Good. Find something to pose or focus on. You might find I'm not as tight looking at the camera as much. Good, inhale, coming back to center. And exhale, rotate to the opposite side. And just check in with your breath. As your breath lost its fullness, try to build it up. Good, inhale, come back to center. Exhale. Inhale, hands to heart. Exhale, knee to center. And then inhale, slowly stepping it down. Remember, you're on a block. And exhale, give that leg a little shake. Good. Opposite side. So from here, I'm going to face you. So taking the opposite leg, place it on the block. So I started with my left foot on the block. Now my right foot's on the block. Pressing down and standing up. So I'm going to use my strap for the extended leg pose. So you can see that this time. Press down in and then hover that foot. So it's like you're standing on the block, but there's nothing there. And then send that right hip out to the side and pull it back to the center line. Right hip out, back to the center line. Maybe the arms even come up, right leg out, right hip out, back to the center line. Good, as you inhale, bring that knee to center, hand to knee. Maybe this is your pose. Good, maybe you use the strap, wrap around the ball of your foot or grab your big toe. Extend the leg out. Good, breathing here. Draw into the lower belly, find your gaze point. Nice, full breaths. Good. Two more breaths here. Exhale fully. Good, as you inhale, bend back into that knee. Exhale, draw knee to knee, and reach back for that left ankle. Good, find your balance, take the right arm up, and then start to hinge forward, Pressing that foot back into the hand. Hi. We have a chatty cat today. It's okay. <laughs> he likes it better when I'm closer to the floor. Inhale, brings yourself back up. Exhale, bring that knee back to center. And then take that knee out to the left, bringing that foot either into the inner thigh or to your calf. Good. Lift up nice and tall. Take those arms up. Good, breathing. Good, and then take the arms out by the side. And then start to rotate to that open leg, to the left. Breathe. Nice open chest, draw the shoulder blades onto the back, press into that bottom foot, breathe. Exhale, come back to center. Good, and then inhale, open up toward the opposite side. Good, breathe, rotate through the core, open the chest. Good, inhale comes back to center. Exhale, hands to heart. Good, taking that inhale, bring that left knee to center. And exhale, release it down. Go ahead and give that a little shake on the ankle. Remove those blocks for a moment. Set them off to the side, we'll come back to them. And then take those legs, make them nice and wide. So as wide as your arms are long, Hands come to your hips. Take a big inhale, lift the chest, and exhale, forward fold. Nice long spine, planting down those hands. Inhale, lengthen you out, and exhale, fold. Elbows point back, shoulder blades draw onto the back, outer edge of the feet press away, top of the head reaches down toward the ground. Mm -hmm. 
two more breaths here. And exhale fully. Inhale, lengthens you out, nice long spine. Exhale, hands to your hips. Put a little bend into the knees. Inhale, brings you back up. And exhale. Good, go and bring those heels in, toes in. And then come to standing to like in the middle of your mat. And again, you have the option to use the blocks again, either under your feet, or you can use those blocks on the ground if you need them for half moon. So we're going to half moon on each of our sides. So from here, pointing your right toes out to the top of your mat, ground out nice and firm, shift the weight forward, and then bring your hand either to the block or the floor and start to lift your left leg. Stand on that right leg nice and strong. Good. Breathe. Now stack the hips, open the chest, and then start to take that top arm up. Good. Breathing. So you have many variations with the block. You don't even need the block. You can always use the ground. Adjust as you become more comfortable. If you have a cat leaning on you, it might be a little bit more challenging. Good. And then to go on a little bit deeper, maybe bend that back knee. Taking that foot, grabbing onto the back foot, coming into Chapasana, or bound half moon. And breathe. Good. Open the chest. Maybe lean your head back a little bit more. One more breath here. Exhale fully. Inhale, release the top foot. Exhale, look down, start to bend in that front knee. Step the back foot down and stand it up. Good. And then we'll switch sides. So I'm going to go and switch to the back of my mat. So your left toe is going to point toward the block or the end of your mat. Shift your weight forward and then take that left hand to the block or floor and then start to straighten and stand into that left leg. Back leg nice and strong. Stack your hips, stack your shoulders, and then take your pinky edge of your back foot higher to the ceiling. Good. Maybe that right arm reaches. Find your balance here. And then if you're okay, bend your top leg reach for that ankle, press foot into hand, resist with the hand, open the chest, start to lift the knee higher. Maybe even look down, maybe even start to bring that gaze a little bit higher. Good, breathe. Head draws back. One more full inhale. Exhale. Inhale, slowly release the leg. Exhale, gaze starts to look down again. As you inhale, put a little bend into that standing leg. And then exhale, place the foot down and up to standing you come. Good. Well done. Come to the middle of your mat. Bring your blocks with you. And you're going to come to that low squat, Malasana. So heels in, toes out. Drop those hips. Elbows start to draw into the shins. And just pause here for a moment. This might be where you, you work and you kind of watch the rest of the video, seeing what's coming next as you go along, or maybe you start working along. So a lot of times you get a little cramped in here. We're gonna try to get our feet together into full malasana. So I'm gonna show you from the side view. So this time I'm gonna bring those blocks side by side and I'm gonna step up on them. And I mostly want my toes on it this time, not necessarily my heels, but I'm gonna try and get my whole foot on. And then I'm gonna bring those big toes to touch and squat it down. My knees are gonna go wide, so my heels might not touch here, so that's where I wanna start to keep working on the ground. But from here, I'm gonna sit back under my heels and then reach it forward. And then start to draw those elbows into my shins. So I'm sitting back, heart's lifting, Pressing those heels back. Breathe. And if you've been practicing yoga, you kind of know what comes from this progression a little bit more. If you'd like, reaching back, backs of the hands press down, round in, see if you can lengthen your spine a little bit more forward and then round chin to chest. Breathe. And then the natural progression from here, especially when you're on a block, it gives you a little bit more lift. Vakasana. So bringing those hands forward, balancing on our hands a little bit, shift the weight forward, squeeze those knees into your upper arms, 
and then keep shifting forward, shifting forward, shifting forward, and then maybe start to hover those heels toward your bum. Good, look forward, squeeze it in, think cat pose. Good, one more big inhale, and then maybe you exhale, shoot those legs back. Inhale, upward dog, and exhale, downward dog. Good, and we'll practice that again, because it's always fun to practice. Good, looking from here, come to the middle of your mat again. So again, you can use the blocks or not. So you've seen it once with the blocks, I'll do it once without. Bring those inner edges of your feet to touch, drop those hips, draw in. Breathing here, bring the hands back, backs of the hands press down, drop the hips, round it in. Good, then inhale, lengthen out. Bring the hands shoulder width apart. Lift the hips, think cat pose slightly. Shift the hips forward. Come up onto the tiptoes, look forward, look forward, look forward, and then start to hover those heels toward your bum. Breathe. Squeeze it in. Good, one more inhale. And then as you exhale, press the hands, shoot it back. Inhale brings you up. And exhale, presses you back. Good, a couple deep breaths here. And then go ahead and come down to your knees. Pausing there. And from here, we're going to go into handstand. So we're going to use, I'm going to use the wall to show you some handstand. If you have a handstand practice, you want to practice in the middle of the room, just either let this take play or pause it and come back to it at another time. So from here, handstand, again, balancing on our hands. So we had a low balancing on our hands. If you fall, you're not that far away from the ground. Um, handstand, you're not that far away from the ground either, but use the wall if you have that little fear of falling. So what you wanna do to begin with, with handstand, is get yourself away from the wall. And if you're comfortable kicking up, kick up with that. If you're not too comfortable with handstand, maybe come back to this at a later time, watch this part, and then, do the handstand practice that I have on my website. Take a look at that and practice that to find one that's good for you. So from here, I'm going to be kicking up. So I want to find myself near the wall. My hands are going to be shoulder width apart. I'm going to lift my hips down my dog. Take one leg lifted up and then press into that bottom leg. Kick myself up. Okay, so once I'm here, I'm just going to practice. And then as I get better, I'm going to try to bend my knees pull my hips away, and then straighten my legs, finding some balance away from the wall. So I'm just breathing, keep lengthening, maybe hold here four or five, 10, 15 breaths. And then when you're ready to come down, slowly come down and take child's pose. Practicing that a couple more times. As you become ready for it, maybe you move more toward the middle of the room. A couple options that you can do, which I'll show you here if you're ready to start moving away from the wall here, is again, you'll ground down into those hands, lift the hips, come to downward dog, and then you just kind of shorten your stance, press into those hands, shorten your stance, stack shoulders over wrists, take one leg lifted up, ground down, and then you're just going to kick up and back down, kick up, back down, maybe over time, that other leg reaches up. Maybe you lift up, kick, switch. Other leg, kick, switch. Maybe one day you hold. And then, because everything good comes in threes, we're gonna do that one more time. One more other little option that maybe you don't like kicking your legs up or maybe your legs just don't really do what your brain's telling them because they're upside down. That totally is normal and you want to kind of go away from the wall, right? You, you're, you're good on the wall, but in the middle of the room, you're struggling a little bit. So this other one is kind of like a tuck or a ball handstand, right? So you're going to plant those hands again, lift the hips, walk the feet in so that shoulders get over hip, over your wrists, and you're going to bend your knees, and you're just going to kick up, bring your heels to your bum, knees to chest. Heels to bum, knees to chest. Shift forward a little bit more, kick it up, Maybe you find a little more hang time. Breathe, press into those hands, and then take a break. 
So a few more options there for balancing on your hands. Find your breath when you come down. The handstand is by far the most dynamic when it comes to finding your balance. Exhale fully here. Inhale, shift the way forward. And then we're going to practice a little bit more on a little bit of side plank. So balancing on our side. Um, again, you have options. This is a more intermediate flow, so I'm going to stay on our hands. If you need to, you can always drop the bottom knee. So ground down into those hands, lengthen the legs out, come to plank. And then you're going to roll toward your right side. As you roll toward your right side, make sure that right shoulder is right over the wrist. Draw that arm bone into the socket, open the chest, and then take that left arm to the ceiling. So your feet might start side by side. Maybe over time, you stack the feet. Spread through the toes, press into the outer edge of that right foot. Lift the hips. Good, now maybe start to gaze up. Maybe that bottom or that top leg starts to hover. Nice, two more breaths here. And then foot down, hand down, down the dog. Take a breath. Opposite side. Inhale, shift you forward, plank. Good. Stack over that left wrist. Stack the feet. Draw that arm bone into its socket. Shoulder blades draw onto the back. And then take the arm up. Maybe gaze goes up. Lift the hips. Activate the legs and then top leg love hovers. Good, breathe. Two more breaths. And then leg down, hand down, and downward dog. Good, nice full inhale and exhale. Inhale, shift the weight forward. Exhale, knees come down. Cross those ankles, roll all the way over, and then bring it all the way down to your back. Keep the knees bent, hands by your side, heels are as close as they can to your bum, and then on your next inhale, lift the hips. Exhale, draw the shoulder blades under the back. Interlink the fingers, press those arms down, stretching out that front body. Send the shins to the front of your mat, tailbone toward your knees, hips lift, belly's engaged, chin lifts, and then pressing down into those arms. One more full inhale here. And exhale. Inhale, unwind the shoulders, release the grip. And exhale, slowly lower those hips. Good, drop both knees into the chest, give them a little squeeze. Rock a little bit from side to side. Doing a double stretch here, we're going to do Gomukhasana legs, getting into our hips, stretch those out, as well as in Gomukhasana twist. So taking your right leg, cross it over your left. And then you're going to start to draw those knees into the chest. So squeezing them in, flex through the feet, slide the hands down to the shins, start to draw those heels away from you. Lengthen the tailbone toward the floor, but keep drawing the knees to the chest. If it's okay, hands to pinky edges of feet. Relax the shoulders, keep flexing the feet. Don't let the feet sickle down, press through the heels. Full breaths here. Getting into the hips, releasing them out after all that balancing practice from our standing poses. Exhale fully. As you inhale, release that those legs, place the left foot on the floor, shift the hips slightly toward the right, and then point both toes. If you can bring full eagle legs to your legs, drop your knees toward the left. Good, draw in through the lower belly. Let that right shoulder grow heavy, and then maybe even look over your right shoulder. One more full inhale here. Exhale fully. Inhale, engage up through the core, bring the knees up. 
Exhale, unwind the legs, bring those hips back to center. Taking that left leg over the right. Draw the knees into the chest and then grabbing onto the knees, maybe the shins, draw the heels wide. Knees keep drawing in, tailbone lengthens down and then grabbing onto maybe the pinky edges while you keep relaxing your shoulders. Be mindful not to let those feet draw down or the knees to lift to the ceiling. Keep drawing everything in, flexing through those feet. Exhale fully. Inhale releases those legs. Exhale, right foot to the floor, shift the hips to the left, and then come to full eagle legs or point the toes and drop those knees over to the right. Left shoulder stays on the ground. Big inhale, opening up the chest. And then if you're okay, exhale, looking over that opposite shoulder. Exhale fully. Inhale, draws the knees up. Exhale, unwind the legs, bring those legs back to center. And then draw both knees into the chest, give them a little squeeze, coming into happy baby, flexing the feet, lengthen the tailbone to the end of the mat, knees go wide, and then draw those knees down toward the floor. When you're comfortable, start rocking a little bit from side to side, releasing through the low back and the hips. Release any tension here. And exhale fully. Go ahead and release those legs, give them a little shake. And then bring the soles of the feet to the ground. Taking those legs one at a time, extending them out. And then slide the heels out the distance of your mat apart. Let your toes drop out to the side. Let your hands come by your side. Press into the elbows, tuck the shoulder blades onto the back a little bit. And then let those arms be heavy. Lifting the chin slightly, growing nice and long through the spine. Feeling your spine completely surrender here from the base of your skull all the way down to your tailbone. And then wherever you are in your breathing cycle, exhale fully. Take a nice slow inhale through the nose. Fill the belly. Fill the chest. Hold it at the top for a moment. And then open the lips and sigh it out. Let your breathing come back to normal. Let yourself surrender here in stillness and silence for a few moments of Shavasana.
and allow your next breath to come in a little deeper. And on your next breath, bring some movement into the fingers and toes, maybe even the wrists and ankles. And on your next breath, reach your arms back behind your head, slide your feet together, give yourself a long stretch from head to toe. And then slowly bend the knees, bring the feet as wide as your mat, and take an exhale there. On your next inhale, let both knees drop to the left. Exhale to center, inhale to right, exhale to center, one more time to the left, and one more time to the right. And then draw both knees into the chest, giving them a little squeeze. And then using your arm as a pillow, roll over to your favorite side, pause there for a moment. Checking in with the body, scanning over the mind. And then when you're ready, using your top hand, extend your top leg, press, pressing yourself up, coming all the way back up to a comfortable seat. And once you've found that comfortable seat, allow your eyes to close, bring those hands back to your heart center, and allow yourself to be in the room, on your mat, and in your body. Connecting with that intention surrounding balance and allowing the strength, the energy, and the breadth of this practice to help you whenever you are out of balance, to help you come back into balance. We'll seal that, that intention in as we close this practice with one ohm. Take a nice full inhale. that happening in your mind's eyes you raise your head with a smile thanks for tuning in we'll see you next time drink lots of water eat your veggies and wear some sunblock namaste